In this tutorial, we will see how to interface a pot with the Arduino analog input and read the value of that analog input onto the LCD. So, we will go to the OTS, we will pick up Arduino from the library, then select 16 by 2 LCD and then select pot. We will connect uh, this terminal to A2 pin, which is the analog input of Arduino. Then here we will, at one end, we will provide the VCC and the other end of the port, we will connect to the ground. Then LCD pin number 4, that is RS, is connected to pin number 12 and enable pin let us connect it to pin number 11 then we will configure this LCD in 4 bit mode and therefore we will use only the last 4 bits of this LCD that is D4, D5, D6 and D7 so we will connect this D4 to pin number 5 we will connect D5 pin number 4 pin number d6 is connected to pin number 3 and pin number 2 is connected to d7 now the rest of the connections of lcd we as we all know we connect a port uh, to provide the vcc so we'll take somewhat this side now this middle terminal is a contrast control and is connected to the VDD the first terminal of the port is connected to the power input so I will connect the supply VCC over here and the other end of the port is connected to the ground This VSS is connected to the supply, so I will connect this to supply and this VEE is connected to the ground. So that's why I will short this with read write because I want to write into the LCD. That's why read write pin is connected to the ground and then finally this pin is connected to the ground point. So this is my hardware interfacing, these are my connections. Please take a note that these RS and enable pin are connected to pin number 12 and pin number 11. Now we go to the Arduino ID and we'll write the program. So for LCD first of all we need to include header file. So for that hash include liquid crystal dot h this header file we need to insert then we have to write one command to create object so we'll write liquid crystal and we create object as lcd and we provide the pin numbers so as we all know pin number 12 pin number 11 so pin number 12 is connected to RS, pin number 11 is connected to enable pin and then the remaining pins are 5, 4, 3 and 2. So these pins of the Arduino are connected to the LCD. Right. Now we go to the void setup function wherein we can write the initializations of LCD so we want to use LCD in 16 by 2 mode so that's why we'll write command LCD dot begin and use it in 16 by 2 and one more thing is that I am using pin number A2 look at here in interfacing diagram pin number A2 I have connected with the pot input so that's why I want to make this pin as an input so how I can write this for that 
I am going to use the command pin mode A2 and I am using it in input mode. So this is my second command. Then after this I will write a void loop function. So in loop we have to set the cursor for the LCD. So initially we will set it at 0, 0 position but prior to that we have to read the value. So read the value from the pot. So we will use one variable called as val and I will store the value which is read from the pot in this variable named as val. So integer val and I will use a function called analog read. So in this function I am going to read. So from pin number A2 I am going to read this value. So that's why I have written A2. Now LCD dot set cursor. This is a command used to set the cursor. So set cursor. This is small. LCD dot set cursor. So LCD dot set cursor. Okay. And here we have to give the position so 0 comma 0 and then we have to write lcd dot print uh, analog voltage okay so we have written this text message and next to this text message we have to write the value so for that again lcd dot set cursor and <clears throat> we'll write the position as uh, zero comma four. Okay, and here we'll write LCD dot print. We'll write the value. So for that LCD dot print in bracket we provide the value of variable value. Once this <clears throat> here maybe C is capital. Yes, it shows a printing error. So C must be capital. So these are the syntax errors. You can see whether you have written the command in a proper way or not. If the word becomes red, then it has been written in proper words. So now I have saved it and now compile this file and check the path of X file. So you can see here this is the path of X file. Here you can see so you can copy this path. go back to the protest simulation double click and here we can paste the x file click on ok our simulation is ready to run now you see since the pot position is at the middle it shows 510 value as we press the upper button the value of the analog voltage means actually it is the value of the pot it is changing so for maximum value it shows 1023 so it goes up to 1023 we'll check it yes and as i reduce the value of this pot it reduces to zero in this way we can demonstrate that any uh, variation at the analog input can be measured and can be displayed uh, on the output port okay so in this way analog read function is used to read the value of 